Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Well, well, one good thing. Um, the Forbes list has recognized Rihanna as the first billionaire from Barbados. Hold on, what now? The Forbes list the first. Mm-hmm. has recognized Rihanna as the uh-huh. first billionaire from the Barbados. That sounds okay. Right. That sounds all well, right. Small yeah. Cool, man. Cool, man. Mm-hmm. Smart man. Mm-hmm. They put too much. They they put too much shit in the news, man. I'm sorry, it's too much shit being publicized. If I'm on the Forbes list, I don't want nobody to know my money. Shit, I'm not that conceited and cocky. I want to keep my shit to myself and private. If I got money, let me spend my money. I don't want to. Oh, you a billionaire? Oh, okay, okay, you a motherfucking billionaire. You know, I seen you on the Forbes list, my nigga. You, you know that, right? You don't want nobody to pull up like, hey, hey how you doing? You remember me, baby? Let me hold some, baby. Yeah, hold some. yeah I'm going to let you hold some. I let you hold 16. Shit. <laughs> Fuck away from me. My first billion. I'm getting me an island and I'm disappearing. I know that. That's it. Yeah. My robot that looked like me shooting missiles. Hey, verse, don't worry. Soon as soon as by the time that shit is published, my ass gonna be on the island somewhere. Sell, sell, a, yeah. sell a Chinese flip flops to tourists. If I got that much money, I'm gonna buy a fucking Forbes and make them not post my shit. I, I, I own this shit now. Don't put me on this list. <laughs> shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck um, this shit. What the magazine and just say, you know what? You ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> next next on the list of fuckery it, it kind of hits uh a little close to home <laughs> and, and it shouldn't somebody it shouldn't at all huh somebody in Texas people doing something weird again no no but these people they're from virginia um the grammys mm-hmm. has namin i said nominated the the grammys has nominated mm-hmm. for best reggae album to a group called Soldier, which is a bunch of white guys from Virginia. I thought you was about to be like, I'm an island boy, and just an <laughs> island boy, and then the Asian guy, and the island boy. Yes, the group Soldier, S O J A, an acronym for Soldiers of Jaws Army. <laughs> <laughs> So not soldier, soldier. Soja. Soja. Uh beating five Jamaican nominees. Jamaican as in Jamaica, as in the place where reggae was originated from. Soja. Sean Paul, Spice Gramps Morgan, Itana, and Jesse, <laughs> Jesse Royale. Um Come, they come primarily from Virginia, and they have been making music since 1997. They only visited Jamaica for the first time in 2015. Want to play on time? Now, my question: these these S O J A motherfuckers, right? So, Um, is it anywhere? What's their religious belief? Are they Rastafarians? They're so ja, man. They 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 claim they claim it. It looks like they don't say anything about it, <laughs> really. But I guess I gotta listen to okay. the music to really okay. see. No, no, no. <laughs> this is my friend. Down. Um, so, in any of their in anything, do they they praise Ja? Except for in their name and in their music, because to most Rastafarians I speak to, known or seen in any interviews, it's quite, quite, quite often they reference most praises to Jah, Rastafari, most praises to the Most High, most praises. Uh, they they reference him, Halasalasi. They, they they reference Halasalasi a lot. So my thing is, 
Um, one, number one, um, I have no problem with race. Let me get over. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I want to be a big contributor to that that bullshit getting out of here. I want to try to get over race because they're all white Jamaicans, but these motherfuckers from the United States, based in Virginia. You feel me? Um, now, once again, I, I'll get over race because Cali Buds, I believe Cali Buds, Jamaican, uh, was a reggae singer and he was white, right? Um, mm-hmm. And I fuck with Kylie Bud music, you feel me? But S O J A soldiers of uh, 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 soldiers of Ja, uh, uh, I don't even know what the A stands for. I can't. I, I, me personally, I'm going to go out right and say it. I feel it's cultural appropriation because how dare you give them an award for reggae album of the year before you recognize the founders, before you recognize the people who laid the groundwork to even be to even allow you guys. To come into the to come into the culture and say now I appreciate you about reggae. But my thing is, I appreciate uh, with every bad comes a good. I appreciate you bringing reggae to the masses and having more people pay attention to that to that genre of music. I really appreciate that. But I take it as a slap in the face that you're awarded album of the year over the countless other tenured reggae artists who are in the same category with you you know Kali buds is actually on their album on the first song <laughs> now that you brought that up i just looked it up hey, uh, hey. these hey. don't look like ja rastafari <laughs> songs so. like my thing is Hold up. uh I love reggae. I love soca. I love calypso. I love all my island music. Um, you feel me? My, my my heritage is in the islands. Um, so uh, I will try to take this with a grain of salt. Um, I try to say this as easily as I can. Um, no, I'm not. Fuck that goddamn bank. <laughs> give that award to somebody who really. Fuck that. You feel me? Give that. Give that award to a group that really deserves that. A group who's been paving the way. They may not have the the opportunity or the promotion to get the limelight, but they on the island doing their thing. It's easy for these motherfuckers in the states to get that to, to get that exposure. You feel me? Y'all motherfuckers are on the mainland, as they say. Y'all niggas are foreign, as they say. You feel me? Like y'all here with their music. You feel me? Once again, I go out double back and say I appreciate. You bring the attention to reggae, and especially on that stage. But I don't feel that they should have won that award. Well, this is how I feel. I don't appreciate shit from because everybody knows about reggae. I have been to plenty of white bars where they play both reggae and country. Mm -hmm. People know about reggae whatever mm-hmm. bob marley told all of them about reggae yeah. pretty much so my thing this is the same thing and how i feel about caitlin jenner being woman of the year or whatever be all the women all the women that's been women since they've been born in the world and this motherfucker decides to be a year a woman for a year not a full woman half a woman Half a woman is woman of the year. This is how I feel about soldiers. There's a whole island. <laughs> There's a whole island named Jamaica where the music came from, originated from. There's actual reggae you, you don't, art, you don't, artists. You didn't want the award pass. Huh? I don't understand. You don't think I should have won the award pass? <laughs> you you don't think I should have won? What about me and my half, Pat? Nope. All them Jamaicans on that island that make reggae music. <laughs> all of them, man. But, all of them. And but, you give it to you give it to the watered down version of reggae. The uh the elevator music. But, but let me ask you this. <laughs> I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I'm gonna play devil's advocate real quick. Okay. So I don't know much about um black country singers. And I don't know if Lil Nas X won won no what awards he won for country music. But let's just say a black guy came out 
um, and made a country album and won that award, won the, the country music award or the album of the year. You feel me? And the outcry came from that community. How would we feel on that? Would we have a issue with their community having a, a saying something negative about this black guy? You feel me? Because I mean, because yeah, it's so, I would, and that? I have every right to because <laughs> black people made music. <laughs> black people made music. Matter of fact, I should even I mean, be even more angry that that they took over country music. <laughs> And it because it's based off of black music. Or yeah, most, most no anything, most well, for, for, for if, if we're going there, we, we, if we're gonna go that route, we be mad on everything because most everything in in America is based off black, black sweat, black anything, black inventions, black this, black IP. I mean, just for, goes for that, along but, with my argument of the colonizers colonizing everything and then still mm-hmm. thinking it's okay to colonize. <laughs> well. They they, well, they call it gentrification that? now. <laughs> they call it cultural yeah. appropriation now. So yeah, and no. I me personally, I don't can't. mind gentrification. <laughs> Fix this shit up. I don't mind gentrification. Fix this broke ass shit up. <laughs> shit, because it ain't it, it ain't I mean, been getting I, fixed without the ass. I live in I, 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 I my people live in Petersburg. I, I and Petersburg has been a piece of shit. For many fucking years, the buildings breaking down, people abandoning buildings, shit everywhere. And until gentrification, niggas ain't gonna fix enough shit. So I, I clap up gentrification. But while y'all gentrifying shit, don't think shit gonna change because the hood is still the hood. Y'all just motherfuckers just fixing up the hood, living in the hood. That's that's all. So yeah, yeah. Want y'all? Want y'all to bring it Oh no! Come to I, I I don't know what gentrification you've been a part of, but in Petersburg, the motherfuckers ain't going no goddamn well. You can gentrify all the fuck you want to. You can have your twenty one hundred twenty five million dollar house right next door, cause two doors down is still gonna be the trap. Them niggas ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. <laughs> This is going away. Well, I see uh, I see a resurgence of white people in Petersburg every day I travel down there. But guess what? The same niggas is down there too. <laughs> oh well in and, and Norfolk they got this thing called um what is it called? It's something domain. I forgot the, the term eminent, for eminent domain. Eminent domain. Eminent, eminent domain. domain. And they've been doing mm-hmm. that since we've been in ODU. And they're still doing it. Yeah, I, it know. I have a friend. Yeah. I have a I have a friend right now going through it right now, trying to find a new place or whatever. And luckily, they done fought it out now that the city is is basically um, going to help find a place for them. But they've been doing that for a while. Like they've been, yeah. Just just go back to you a, a couple of times, and so you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about, man. In some cases, oh, yeah, but, they kick them out. But that boils down. But way. that boils down to that boils down to motherfuckers using that money and using it right because a black man can come in and do the same goddamn thing. I can if I had the same amount of money, I'd do the same shit these white folks do. I gentrify the fuck out of this shit, build this shit up, and make money off of it. Why build my shit brand new when I can go to these broke ass neighborhoods, buy this good ass building, and fix it up, and then charge our motherfuckers the ass, arm and leg to bring our motherfuckers out of town into this bad ass neighborhood, and I live three or four states away making my bread. Nah, why not? That's a good ass business venture. If you like, look at it. If I if I need a brick and mortar building, I can build it from the ground up, or I can take this bullshit brick and mortar building that y'all motherfuckers ain't doing shit for in this neighborhood and it's burning down and ain't got no value to you. Give me this piece of shit. I'm gonna fix it up and make value, then bring motherfuckers from outside the neighborhood to bring me more value. And why I take my ass back out? Your way, I agree with, but some of this shit I've seen. Because it's all about it's subjective too. Because it's all about the company. Because I mean, you got um, it's a it's a it's a company group. Um, it's through an app called Fundrise. Um, I participate mm-hmm. in that shit too. What it is is um, it's a it's a community. It's a community based uh, uh, real estate shit. So the group they purchase different shit, purchase different shit in different communities, and once they start making a profit, everybody sees a profit in it. So they just bought. Uh, community, I forgot what state it was, but they always go to the impoverished neighborhoods because you can make the most money flipping that building. It's like flipping a home. If you go mm-hmm. to the rich neighborhood, flip a home, you ain't gonna make but so much money for it. So I'm gonna put my money in it. I'm not making no. I'm not making no profit. I'm gonna go where the most profit is. It's just, it's just like hustling. I'm gonna take my money where the most profit is. <laughs> I'm gonna take my mm-hmm. product where the most profit is. So they get their profit here because 
the people in the neighborhood don't give a fuck about the shit, and the people in the neighborhood ain't got the money to fix the shit up. Mm-hmm. But if they got the unity together, I guarantee they would, because everybody in Petersburg, the citizens, have been complaining about the bullshit and the blight. But the city ain't did shit. But these motherfuckers from out of town with this money doing some shit for them, though. That that I can get, right I can get with, I can get with, I can get with that. But soldiers, they, y'all, y'all got this soldiers, y'all wait the fuck out of here. Hold <laughs> up. Whatever. March, like, march the fuck up out of here. To the left, mm-hmm. motherfuckers. March to the left. To, let's go. Let's let's just get on out of here. And and then it's the simple fact that I need need y'all to actually do some work with other black like reggae artists before you just go and take a whole freaking Grammy. Nobody knew of these people. Just nobody know of no soldier. I have yet to see title go on my title and see soldier pop up or whatever. Only soldier I know is soldier boy. Mm-hmm. That's the only soldier I recognize. In the music industry, Soldier Boy and Soldier Slim. Oh man, 